Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi has departed from Papua New Guinea after participating in the Forum of India-Pacific Islands Cooperation Summit. He is now headed to Sydney. While in Papua New Guinea, he held bilateral talks with the Prime Minister James Marape. Now, this is the first time an Indian Prime Minister visited Papua New Guinea. India and the United States are actively seeking to counter Beijing's influence in the Indo-Pacific. Papua New Guinea has signed a defense pact with the United States. The defense cooperation agreement gives U.S. troops access to the Pacific nation's ports and airports. The Pacific Island nation is strategically located close to trade routes to Australia and Japan. Washington and New Delhi are concerned that Beijing is trying to woo tiny nations with diplomatic and financial incentives. U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken is also holding separate talks with 14 Pacific leaders, including New Zealand Prime Minister Chris Hipkins. Prime Minister Narendra Modi landed in the nation's capital port of Moresby on Sunday night. Narendra Modi was met by a gun salute and traditional dances. Papua New Guinea's Prime Minister even extended his hand to touch Prime Minister Narendra Modi's feet. In Indian tradition, the gesture is meant to show respect to elders and receiving their blessings. As per reports, China has been pouring money into countries in the Pacific. This has alarmed New Delhi and its allies in the Quad. New Delhi is increasing its engagement with the Pacific Islands. This is due to their strategic location and fears that China could dominate the region. आपकी तरह हम मल्टीलेटरलिज्म में विश्वास रखते हैं। Free, open, और inclusive Indo-Pacific का समर्थन करते हैं। सभी देशों की संप्रभुता और अखंडता को सम्मान करते हैं ग्लोबल साउथ की आवाज भी यूएन सुरक्षा परिषद में बुलंद बुलंदी से उठनी चाहिए इसके लिए अंतर्राष्ट्रीय संस्थाओं का सुधार हमारी साझा प्राथमिकता होनी चाहिए after the summit, Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi interacted with scholars from the Indian Technical and Economic Cooperation Program before departing for Sydney. Now, ahead of Prime Minister Modi's visit, Australian Prime Minister Anthony Albanese said that Australia and India share a commitment to a stable, secure, and prosperous Indo Pacific. Together, we have an important role to play in supporting this vision. Now, this is the first time Prime Minister Modi is visiting Australia since 2014. Prime Minister Modi will hold bilateral talks and will meet Australian business leaders. He will return to India on Wednesday night. Meanwhile, Papua New Guinea conferred the uh, Companion of the Order of Logahu on Prime Minister Narendra Modi. This is for championing the cause of unity of Pacific Island countries and spearheading the cause of the Global South. This comes immediately after Fiji also conferred their highest award to Prime Minister Modi. Now, Weon's principal diplomatic correspondent, Sudan Sybil, joins us live on the broadcast for more details. Hello to you, Sudan. Now, Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi has departed from Papua New Guinea. What are some of the big takeaways from his visit there? Well, his visit to Papua New Guinea was uh, New Delhi's message uh, that when it comes to Pacific, India is strongly engaged. Now, India announced 12 action plans which included building hospitals in Fiji and other such infrastructure projects in the region. India has been in the past helping the region as well but one big outcome of Prime Minister's statement during that meeting, the 
India Pacific Forum meet, which took place earlier today, was how India assured uh, the countries of the Pacific that um, when it comes to putting the voice of the global south, India is there and during its presidency of uh, the G20, especially when the summit happens in September, India will be doing that. Now we know that India earlier this year convened a summit of global south and uh, as the Papua New Guinea Prime Minister said that India is a major voice uh, in the global landscape and, play, and can play an important role. But all in all, the engagement uh, comes at a time when we have seen increased geopolitical contestation in the region with China also making its foray as well. It has signed security packs uh, in the region as well, something that has raised eyebrows uh, in countries like Australia that see that region as uh, their neighborhood. So essentially, while uh, the Pacific region is seen as heart of uh, the Indo-Pacific vision, the engagement is something that needs to be stepped up and New Delhi by the visit of the Indian Prime Minister has done so. Right, incident, uh, Prime Minister Modi is now headed to Sydney. What are we expecting from his meetings in Australia, especially considering that both countries are members of the Quad? Well, it's just past 7.30 p.m. local time here in Sydney. The Indian Prime Minister is expected to land in the next 45 minutes or so. Uh, now, the visit to Australia is the second such visit by the Prime Minister Narendra Modi since 2014. And in past few years, we have seen increased engagement almost in every sector, be it trade, defence or the Indo-Pacific vision, the heart of which is looking like the Quad grouping. The Quad grouping as the Quad member countries have been saying, that is focusing on positive agendas. Agendas like making sure that there is humanitarian support in the region. Like during the COVID crisis, these countries came together to give COVID vaccine. So essentially, India and Australia will be keen that under the Quad uh, partnership, both the countries can work together for the benefit of the region, for stability of the Indo-Pacific. And that is why this visit is key and is seen important in terms of strengthening the relationship between the two countries. We will see a mega diaspora event as well. Uh, it should be seen in the context of celebration of the people-to-people -people linkages between the two countries. There's a huge diaspora here in Australia, Indian diaspora. And it looks like with this diaspora event, the Indian Prime Minister will be sending a message that uh, when it comes to Indians in Australia, they form an important living bridge. Absolutely. Sudan, thank you very much for bringing us all the latest details. We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.